These are both whole brise zones. The one on the left was found straight out of a hillside and you can see the arms and the branching arms of this brise zone and there's a lot of matrix in between the arms but it's very rough edged and very lifelike and we have some uh, detail of the external arms. Matter of fact we can see even the uh, we can even see the borings of uh, snails on some of these uh, arms. All those little tiny holes were made by the rasping tongue of a uh, snail. Okay. The bryozoan zone on the right was found at the Little Miami River. And again, it is almost, uh, these two are almost twins of each other, but this one has been rounded by the erosional forces of water going over it for many, many decades. So it has been worn smooth and it is just a beautifully tumbled smooth to the touch and you can see all the arms my neighbor, my next door neighbor found this canoeing on the little miami he just thought it was a beautiful rock he didn't know what it was it's incredibly weathered out weathered and tumbled by nature by sitting in the water for many decades and having all the particles of stone wash past it you know many millions of uh, particles over the years have gone by and just sandblasted this thing smooth and tumbled it smooth. It's just a thing of beauty. The arms of the bryozoan, they're all obliterated, but you can just see the smooth and the matrix in between it is uh, tan and it's kind of cream colored where the uh, arms are. It's just a thing of beauty. It's one of the most beautiful weathered out bryozoans I've ever seen. I'm going to pour some water on it just to show you the wet version. It makes it much darker, the contrast will come out. Okay, I've wetted both of them now. You can see uh, this one you lose some of the contrast. This one definitely picks becomes the background. The matrix becomes much darker. Plunsky stones from Michigan uh, are rounded like this. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly, but they have coral that has been weathered by the uh, one of the rivers in Michigan. I think it's Devonian age. But anyway, here's this rounded bright zone. Just lovely. Whenever I get fossil programs, I borrow this from my neighbor. I wish he donated to me, but oh well. <laughs>